Maka Busha Series 3 The Fruit of Paying Homage to the Lord Buddha with Lanterns Story of Bhikkhuni Banjatipika Teri We have studied the result of merit from worshipping the Buddha by lighting lanterns in the story of the Lord Buddha Mankala, whose brilliant aura disseminated from the body as far as 10,000 universes throughout his life. We also have learned the story of Venerable Anuruta Tera, whose celestial vision was greater than that of those deities in heaven. When he attained enlightenment, he became an arahat who was superior to all other monks in terms of supernormal vision. Today, let's study the story of an enlightened bhikkhuni or female monk, Banjati Bhikateri, who used to light five lanterns to worship the Lord Buddha. Once in her past lifetime, she was a lady in Hangsawadi city. She was a traveler who traveled to various monasteries as a pilgrimage. One day, on her way during a travel, she found a Bodhi tree, which symbolized the Lord Buddha's attainment of enlightenment. It was a Buddha's holy day of the waning moon. Feeling of faith in the Lord Buddha swelled in her. She sat down at the trunk of the Bodhi tree and raised her hands to pay respect by placing them together she made a resolution. If the Lord Buddha really had indefinite worthiness and there is nobody comparable to him, please show me a miracle. May the Bodhi tree disseminate its radiance upon me. As she ended her resolution, something miraculous occurred. The Bodhi tree, which had no mind of its own, emitted a golden radiance around the area through the power of the Lord Buddha. Faithfulness and joy overflowed within, and she sat at the trunk of the Bodhi tree for seven days and nights while contemplating on the Buddha's worthiness. On the seventh day, she lighted five lanterns to worship the Lord Buddha at the trunk of the Bodhi tree. The five lanterns illuminated brightly throughout the night until sunrise. With the merit from lighting lanterns to worship the Lord Buddha, she became a celestial being who had beautiful and brilliant radiance in the Tawatimsa heaven after she passed away. She possessed an elaborate and gorgeous celestial residence called Banjat Tipa Riman. Its height was 1600 kilometers and the width of 960 kilometers. There were uncountable glowing lanterns surrounding the residence. With celestial vision, she can see in all directions including above, below, left, right, ahead, and behind. She can see both wholesome and unwholesome deeds that the others committed. She can see from a far distance, and nothing can obscure her vision. She had spent a long time in heaven. She was the queen of Saka, the king of Tawatimsa, the second level of heaven for 80 lifetimes. As her merit reduced, she was reborn in the human realm and was the queen of the superior emperor for 100 lifetimes. While she was in the womb, which should be dark, it was bright and she could miraculously open her eyes to see things. No matter where she was born, she was surrounded by 100,000 bright lanterns in every lifetime. In her last lifetime, she was conscious and thought of Nibbana. Since birth, she wished to attain enlightenment, the greatest happiness. When she was seven years old, she listened to a sermon and attained enlightenment with ease. As the Lord Buddha knew her virtues and special qualities for her attainment of arahatship, he ordained and entitled her as a bhikkhuni when she was only seven years old. As a bhikkhuni, no matter where she meditated, such as a building, a tree trunk, a castle, 
a cave, or an unoccupied residence, five bright lanterns would appear as a result of the power of her merit. The fruit from worshipping the Lord Buddha with five lanterns in that lifetime and the special phenomena of always having five lanterns everywhere she meditated. She was given the name Pratpanjatipika Teri. She was a female monk who excelled in meditation, supernormal powers, and superb celestial vision. Pratpanjatipika Teri used to share her story to the Lord Buddha that, from the merit from lighting lanterns, to worship the Lord Buddha, she had never been reborn in the unfortunate realm. We can see that there are various outcomes from lighting lanterns to worship the Lord Buddha. It can lead to superb celestial wealth, and when we are reborn as a human being, we have tremendous wealth. When we ordain, we will attain enlightenment quickly and have supernormal vision. This Makat Busha day, we would like to invite everyone to come accumulate special merit that will remain connected at the center of our body by lighting lanterns to worship the Lord Buddha at the Mahadamagaya Sitiya.